invited to open for them in 2009 in the US, which was, uh, was awesome. Um, they treated their opening bands really well, uh, and the tour was just great. I think it's, it's yeah, it's, it's got to be the biggest tour that we've been, been part of. Um, so much fun, and you know, Jutle had a friend, him and Michael can go and look in all the second-hand vinyl stores all day. And yeah, just a bunch of really, you know, professionally minded, but, but really, you know, fun, fun guys. And Norwegians and Swedes, we, you know, we have a lot of horrible jokes about each other. Like, why do the Swedes carry car doors in the desert? It's because if it gets too hot, they can open the window. That kind of joke. So, lots of fun, and then at the last gig in, in Washington, that's what I remember best with that tour, is that they bought this fart machine with a remote control, and they're sitting on the balcony of this, this very nice club in, in downtown Washington, D.C. Um, and every time you have to try to go close to the microphone and say something to the audience, this like extremely loud farting was going off in this monitor, and they would just like push it more and more <clears throat> every time he tried to talk, so then he would try and like pretend not to walk up to the microphone and try and get there fast before they managed to, to start it. Uh, so that was, that was quite a struggle. Um, and then it happened after that, we got very inspired. So we wanted to get a fart machine too, because we wanted to be, you know, like the, like the big guys, hope that with our own farting machine. Uh, so we had one and we had it in the back lounge of the bus and we had fun putting it behind pillows and like, Made <coughs> and starting the remote control on each other. Uh, and, and one day, we're sitting in the front lounge, and I stay and goes to the back to do this interview for his other band, Horde Horn, with this, uh, with this guy. And then we remember, hey, the farting machine is back there, so let's use the remote. And we weren't sure if it was working, so we just like kept pushing it to, to see if we could hear it through the door, if it was working, pushing it a lot. And then some commotion took place, the guy was leaving, interview was over. So we forgot to ask him what happened with the fart machine. And like half an hour later, uh, Eister goes, oh, I, I had to tell you guys, this guy had to eat like the worst thing for dinner ever, because he, he just kept farting through the entire interview, just had to pretend like nothing. We're like, uh, oops, that, that's us actually with the remote. And he's, oh no, then the other guy probably thought it was me during the entire interview. And that was kind of cool thinking about those two, like metal guys in the tiniest little back lounge, both being extremely polite for 20 minutes, pretending not to notice the other guys farting very loud and a lot. So I really <clears throat> want to hear that interview.